Um, well, I live in Salford. I was on my way home to meet some friends at a local um, cafe. And um, basically we got locked in because we were told that there was rioters on the streets of Salford. Um, we then heard that they were burning down the local supermarket, turning cars over. And we were all getting calls from our family and friends asking us were we okay. Um, it looked to me like gangs of teenagers basically were getting together and um, just going on a riot, robbing shops, getting stuff from shops, um, you know, that they wanted tracksuits, trainers, uh, liquor, stuff like that. Um, so it's pretty bad really. Um, um, it seems to be a discipline problem um, and basically the, the use, what well, the excuse that they're using is that um, they're not getting enough, they just had funding took off to go to college, um, a lot of teenagers and there's like two years where they get no income at all and um, it seems to be something to do with that and I think most of it is just copycat in London basically because what happened in London. No, it's it, in Salford. There was no no incident at all that caused it. They were just it was copycat. It was basically copying London. Yeah. Yeah, I, I work as a community reporter for People's Voice Media in Salford and um, this morning I made a film filming the positive activity that's going on because uh, the people in Manchester are pretty strong people and they've all kind of got together and cleaned up the city this morning and by 11 o'clock most of the debris have been swept up by people. Yeah, most people I've met are really angry and saddened and they, um, you know, they think the children are using it as an excuse really just to create havoc. Hopefully, I'm hoping there'll be no more incidents tonight because I've got to go through Manchester City Centre on my way home. Thank you, thanks.